Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner, and we are back in the normal spot. And this is um, a double recap because for those who may have noticed, I did not recap last week's episode, The Summer's Half Smarter's Vineyard. And um, so instead of trying to, you know, do it later on in the week, I just decided let's just do a double recap. And, um, so I'll go in the order of like what happened based off the people in the show last week's, um, episode, and then I'll go ahead and do it again for this week's episode, um, that just passed and hopefully you enjoy. Um, but yeah, I'm back and, um, I'm happy to be back. So for those who are not aware and the reason why you didn't get the review, I actually went on a birthday trip. I was out for eight days in Puerto Rico and I um, visited, I did like a round trip type deal, started in San Juan, um, but I really wasn't there. I kind of went to like the southeast part of the island and went all the way around. So that's why you didn't get a review. And if you want, <clears throat> also, if you want to hear more about that Puerto Rico trip, I have a Seeing Things Differently series that I recap all eight days. So a lot of material for those who follow my personal content on YouTube, as well as just, you know, my reviews. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into um, Summer's House Martha's Vineyard. And of course, we'll go in order um, from there. Okay, so we're continuing with the recap. And this is for the worst kept secret episode. And this is for course i forgot to mention season two episode five and um so with this review it kind of continued where we left off at episode four where we have bria and jasmine going back and forth and bria is doing the most like she always does and is getting on well half of the group's nerves so preston's over it because of her hot and cold attitude um Nick is like kind of annoyed because he's like, oh my gosh, because by the way, all this is happening in public. Like they're at the restaurant and they're going back and forth. And Jasmine's just clearly frustrated because of um, Bria's flip floppy ad too. Like first she said she was okay with Mariah coming back and now she's saying she's not. And Jasmine is just over it. And um, she's like, I'm you know, because Jasmine's going through a lot right now. And that's where it left off where Jasmine was kind of breaking down, saying she's going through a lot. And Bria's hearing her, but she ain't really hearing her. She's doing the whole attack thing, doing the most, talking all crazy to everyone. Preston gets into it with her. And then they do. Um, so while this is happening, Amir and Jordan, they're in inside the restaurant taking shots because they're just like, it's getting elevated. We're just going to stay in here while they do that. But then they did come back and they came back and things were <laughs> worse than where they left off at. So they ended up having to leave because Bria was literally throwing the whole entire temper tantrum. So then on the way back, they had, um, they were in separate cars. So Jasmine's airing out her frustrations with everything. And then Bria's airing out her frustrations. And also Shanice is still also airing out her frustrations as well. Because we saw at that dinner the episode before. Shanice still feels a way about how Alex aired her out regarding the accusations with her ex. That like wasn't that had a couple I think side roles of the show Insecure. So there was ramifications for that whole thing. So she's still feeling a way about that. And so things don't really get resolved that night. Um, Bria, though, is wasted. And also, too, I've noticed last season was like this, and even this season is being called out. Bria does this flip floppy doing the most ad to when she's been drinking. And part of me is thinking maybe she should not drink because it seems like when she's not drinking, she's very pleasant to be around. It's when the alcohol comes in, she's like a whole nother person. Um, it's, <laughs> it's like she's a gremlin, <laughs> literally. And also, too, while all this is happening, and while they're out, Milo, her dog, was tearing up her room. 
And so she shows up in her room. Stuff is everywhere. Toilet paper is just all over the place. Because I, who knows? I don't even know how long. I, I, I'll have to go back to see if it shows. But I don't know how long they were gone. But he got bored clearly and just started doing the most. And Bria, because she's so drunk, she's like, who messed up this room? So she's cleaning up the room, still being upset. And then she also cusses out Nick. Everyone who's trying to calm her down, she cusses out. She's like literally Tasmanian devil. And then she comes back downstairs and Nick's like, are you good? Because Nick's like just confused, like what is happening? And she's like, I thought you said something like call me a hoe or something. And she was like, no, I just said, you know, Milo, Milo, you know, screaming for you wants your attention and i don't know where child brie is a mess and then it goes to the conversation while the guys so it's alex um summer i believe nick and shanice they're all downstairs right and Bria all of a sudden goes from cussing Nick out to wanting her, him to come upstairs and cuddle with him, cuddle with her. And he's just like, that doesn't seem appropriate. So clearly Nick is sober, by the way, or not like drunk. So he's just like, that doesn't seem to be a good idea. And he's like, have you ever heard of like a support buddy for like cuddling? And then they just make a whole entire thing of it. He's like, so what would happen if Simon just showed up and then you just have like a cuddle buddy just right there and this dude's like, hey, what are you doing here? Who are you? I'm a cuddle buddy. I'm going to leave back with two black eyes. <laughs> and so it was kind of a funny thing because ever, no one has ever heard of a cuddle, cuddle, cuddle buddy, including me. Like, and then Alex said the obvious, like, that sounds like some freaky stuff and agreed, like, I've never heard of cuddling with a significant other or someone of the opposite sex at night when you've been drinking and nothing happens. Unless, I mean, unless, you know, y'all, you know, unless like your friend is like truly your friend friend and it's platonic, like, like as far as like, the guy friend might be like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's sticky. That's just to me in general, that wouldn't be a good idea unless it's like your gay friend or something like that, or your lesbian friend is the other way around. But otherwise, if you're attracted to the opposite sex, it's probably not the best idea. Just a general rule of thumb, especially if either of you are in a relationship, it's just not appropriate. So, um, anyway, that concludes what happens there. Things didn't really get resolved, but yeah. So it's the next morning, and I believe Alex planned this event where they go to the gym to like basically play basketball and air air things out. So they all end up getting dressed, getting ready, going to play basketball. And um, so they go on teams. Preston doesn't play, and I think maybe Summer didn't play. I forgot. There's two people. No. Bria. Bria didn't play and Preston didn't play while well, everyone else played. And so, which was good because while this happened, that allowed Bria and Preston to talk things over based off of what happened yesterday. And Bria, again, is kind of flip-flopping again when it comes to this Mariah situation. And um, Preston does state to her at this time, I think it was at this time or a little bit later, that he is now open to talking to Phil and hearing him out. Because this whole guest thing with Mariah and Phil is clearly still a thing. And um, Preston, though, is willing to hear him out. And so Priya's like, good. And she, uh, Priya also reiterates, like, look, I'm glad you have my back when it came to the Mariah thing. I have your back when it comes to the Phil thing. I definitely mean, if you're not comfortable with Phil being here, I don't want him to be here type thing. And she reiterates it. And um, also to, like, Preston's like, I love you, but oh my gosh, you're such a brat at times. But you're like, remind me of a little sister I never had. And you can tell that Preston and Bria has so much love for each other. But also, too, it's like, ugh. when Bria's drunk, she's a lot. Because <laughs> it seems like she's only like that when she's drunk. 
Other times, not so much, it seems like. Um, cause th- well, and also too, up until this point, this last episode or last two episodes, when she's been upset, she's just walked away. And this last episode and the time when, and the time before the episode before in this episode, Brie was kind of with the rah rahs. So there's a difference there. Um, but it, it just comes off. It falls short because Bria is all like, no, 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 like, you know, talking kind of like, the way she's talking was like, girl, you, you're, you're a princess. <laughs> like it doesn't, it doesn't land the way she thinks it lands. Anyway, so they're talking it out while everyone else is playing basketball. I was, side note, I was surprised Jasmine played basketball, but she was playing. Um, no problem. And then Joelle was playing too. And towards the end, um, she did get sick. I mean, clearly they just went out that night, so she was hung over. And um, also, then we also had Alex. He, of course, was showing out, doing a good job playing basketball because he actually used to play basketball, and it's pretty obvious because he's tall. He literally looks like a basketball player, so that kind of shores up. Um, and then we also found out Shanice is decent at basketball, too, because she played in college as well, so she's doing a good job. And it cracks me up because I'm like, of course, the two Aries are like good at basketball. Of course, the two Aries are the competitors of this. I know Aries season is over with. It's now Taurus season, but, you know, we're the sign that sets the trends. (laughs) Not being biased at all. Maybe a little bit. Anyway, so from there, uh, we have... um, so while this is happening, they get them playing basketball and they leave. But we also found out Shanice actually kind of rolled. Shanice literally pulled a meet and did it on the same foot as I did while I was in Puerto Rico. She rolled her ankle. <laughs> and when she rolled it, she rolled it exactly the way I rolled it and everything. I was like, dang. I was like, oh, I felt for her. So needless to say, but hers was like, it was much more of a. Because basketball, child, that's a lot worse when you do it then. But, um, so she now can't walk. <laughs> she has crutches, and that's Shanice for pretty much the rest of the episode. Shanice is on crutches. Uh, also, too, before the basketball thing happened, Shanice and um, Alex did talk about everything, and they made up. Um, so I think Shanice, for now... Even though she still calls Alex an F boy, which is debatable. He has some F boy features of uh, it looks to me, but I mean, whatever. But anyway, so that got resolved too. And so then the next thing that they're doing, um, I forgot what the next event was for them. I think they just kind of, no, they went out. So later on that day, they decide to go out. Um, and Except for Noelle and Shanice. Shanice wasn't going out because she couldn't walk. And so she was icing her foot pretty much the whole entire night. And Noelle was still pretty hungover pretty badly. So she, immediately when she got in the house, she went straight to bed, just stayed there for the most part. So everyone else went out. And Bria brought the dog, thought the dog was going to be allowed in the club. And no, he was not allowed in the club. So while that's happening, Bria is talking to her boyfriend, Simon, in the car. She's She doesn't trip about it at all. She's like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Which also, I'm telling you, it's when Bria's been drinking a lot. That's, I think that's the thing. Because Bria sober seems like she's a really sweet, nice person. I think she just has a personality switch. Because I think she's kind of an angry drunk. <laughs> I mean, you know, some people are a little bit happier. And she seems like she... It takes nothing to set her off when she's been drinking. So Um, that's just how I view it when I watch, but when I'm seeing her both seasons so far. But anyway, so Bria's with the dog and talking to Simon while everyone else is having a good time dancing and whatnot. Um, So there's that. While this is happening, Joelle and Shanice do end up linking up in the um, house because they found out neither of them went out. And um, then when everyone came back, the girls all came to their room. I forgot whose room it was. I don't know if it was Noelle or Shanice's room. But they were just all just like having kind of a girl's time and stuff. It was kind of cool. And one thing I have found that 
I think I'm liking so far is I like Shanice and Noel like this friendship this budding like they just seem like a fun fun friends like but I also see that Noel has the characteristics of being very caring and nurturing so I think between all the girls Shanice would open up probably to Noel versus everyone else because Noel seems very very pure I still I I know I love Noel still on the show I think she she was a perfect addition to this show what was just needed now if they could find another guy to add to the dynamic a single guy um so that they're not just all kind of just alling over Alex I think that'll that'll be great but anyway so it's the next morning and the next morning Amir plans this rodeo day and when I tell you that was the most fun that looked like everyone had and it looked like a good time like Amir did a good job right there I was like so to get get it started though Amir cooked everyone the cowboy breakfast and then for because for those who don't remember Amir's from Texas I think he's from I, I think he's from Austin I don't remember but he's from Texas and he's a Texan and rodeos that's a united thing when it comes to Texas that's that's a whole entire thing and we found out that he's you know he had to choose between football or riding horses he chose riding horses so he's very much into that whole lifestyle of you know a kind of equestrian type stuff we also find out during this time while they're at this barn um with the horses that um jordan also did some equestrian type stuff too so she was decent um we see preston's good the only person that didn't ride the horse was jasmine for obvious reasons not that's not a safe thing to do if you're pregnant <laughs> you know you have the risk of possibly falling off the horse and not worth it um anyway so that horse part was very short and then after that then they switch over to playing some games and they had team amir versus team um noella yeah noelle and team amir won because that's just usually what happens and it was kind of and i just loved it because they had such a great time and everyone was bonded everyone was united there was no arguing no hot mess none of that oh before this happened though i forgot to mention before they went to the rodeo preston did um so bria did end up calling um phil for preston and preston and phil did end up talking and phil actually seemed truly remorseful like they had him on facetime he seemed genuinely truly remorseful he stated you know it's not an excuse that i was drunk but i was drunk and um i've actually been in therapy for like a year and a half trying to work through those things and he he apologized he's like you know if i ever get a top opportunity to apologize to any of the rest of the guys i definitely will um so progress and it seems like phil eventually will be welcome in the house i feel like that will be a thing or at least be able to like we'll see him this season more other than just on the facetime it is definitely leading to that because otherwise it wouldn't be showing this to me i mean it seems like that's the obvious thing anyway so um from there um they do talk about by the way and preston forgives him and that's that's resolved um and is willing to like give him another chance basically because preston was the one who literally had probably the most apprehension out of everyone in the house um because of how uncomfortable he felt from the beginning when he was there and preston did say that to him and he understood and it was all good um i feel like the conversation probably was cut short because it seems like based off of preston's personality he probably went into more detail than what it, they showed but you know they have to cut time and they probably were just like let's just get to the point for those who are wondering why well, how did my door open yeah for uh, y'all already know i have two cats and one of my cats is like yeah it's time for me to come in here with you <laughs> so that's what's happening there but anyway everyone had a good night and i mean had a good day and now they're going to transition to apollo night and this is noella's noelle's um whole thing so oh side note before noelle's apollo night they do have a dinner and jasmine did 
I'm text everyone to let, let them know that there's a guest coming. And everyone's freaking out because they're just like, oh gosh, is it going to be Mariah? Because, you know, that was the last thing that was talked about. So everyone's freaking out who the guest is because she didn't mention who the guest was. And um, so while all this is happening and they're trying to figure it out, because the Apollo night's going to happen after the dinner. Um, the other thing that happened here was while they're waiting for this dinner to get started, Bria, um, Summer, and Noella, they're talking. And um, Noella's trying to clear the air with Summer about the whole Alex thing. Because she's like, look, I didn't know how intimate y'all were. And Summer still says cringy things when she talks about her and Alex. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't need to tell. I, I guess, you know, I should have told you that he's been inside of me and I made him come multiple times. She literally said that. I was like, that's gross. <laughs> and it's given TMI. Like, why would you say it like that? Just say y'all, y'all hooked up. But no, she says it in the most cringiest way. And then while they're trying to talk, Bria just keeps popping in there. And Summer's not liking her aggression. Because side note, there still is, if you saw last episode, you know that there's still some unresolved issues with Summer and Bria. Because the hypocrisy that is with Bria not being okay with Mariah coming back to the house is Summer's there and Summer literally did put hands on you. All Mariah did was kind of push you. You and Summer got in a fight fight. So there's still unresolved issue there and there's still tension there. It's pretty clear. So Summer walked away. Um, getting annoyed. And so the, um, basically Bria and Summer didn't really go anywhere with that. And then Bria, not, not Bria, Summer and um, Noelle didn't really get anywhere with that. And so Noella, Noelle went to um, kind of talk things out with um, Jasmine because she's like... I don't really know what to do here. Like, what is this? And, um, and then the mirror's just being nosy. <laughs> and, and then Summer does walk past. And so, um, Noelle's like, you know what? I'm going to talk to her. It seems like she's going through some things, but she won't explain what she's going through. So like, I, it's hard for me to be a friend towards her if I don't know what she's going through. Cause clearly it is clear that Summer is going through some things, but she's not saying what's happening outside of this, you know, outside of the house. Um, and that seems to be a common theme with a lot of the people on the show. Um, they're not opening up to other things that they got going on in their lives right away. Some of them are not. Anyway, so then from there, um, Bria, sorry, not Bria, Noelle and Summer did go in the other room like this, um, sunroom and talked it over they're good no problems there but summer is just like yeah i wanted to talk to you i'm sorry it came across wrong i just walked away it wasn't you it was actually bria like sh i don't like how she talks to me and this that and this and that and that is a common thing with summer she does not handle emotional conversations well it seems like she feels attacked and for Summer, the problem is she either fights or flights. We saw that she got the fighting in her, but lately she's just been walking away. And previews for next episode, I think she's not going to be walking away anymore. It seems like to me Summer's a little bit of a ticking time bomb. That's just what it's coming off as. Um, the difference is Bria is all mouth. Summer's not. <laughs> if you saw last season, you know. But anyway, um, so from there, they have the dinner. So the dinner is kind of awkward a little bit because they're still trying to figure out who is this guest. And it turns out that the guest is... The guest is Jasmine announcing her pregnancy! Duh! <laughs> and so she also had hints 
of the sex because she already knows the sex of the baby. She's already a second trimester. And so she's having a boy. And, you know, she's explaining how all this is going to work with um, Silas being deployed. And so now everyone understands why she really needs everyone's support. She's like, look, I actually truly need y'all support. And I think Jasmine's saying, I'm going to need a support outside of once this two weeks is up. I'm going to need a village, you know, and I think she really means that. And hopefully we'll find out and hopefully they have a re reunion so we know who was there and who wasn't. I just want to have a reunion in general. We were robbed of not having a reunion last season. Bravo. Please give them a reunion this season. I want to know what happens here. Anyway. So everyone's happy for her. Noelle prays um, over her and they all hold hands and pray. It's a happy moment. Everyone's so happy for her. It's beautiful. And it's, it's great. It, it really is cool. But then they also, and then Jasmine shows what she really looks like. She's been holding it in whenever like she was like on like with the group. So. Because she's like, you know, on her second try, she's in her second trimester. So it show so when she was not holding in, it shows what she was really doing. And apparently everyone had an idea or a hint that she was probably pregnant, except for Amir. And I was like, well, he's ditzy. So I'm not that surprised. But everyone else is like, yeah, we kind of figured it out. And a lot of people's indicator were her boobs, which, yes, is very clear based on, like, the weight is all her boobs and she's glowing and she she definitely was clearly pregnant. <laughs> and Amir just, it was like over his head. He's like, oh, dang, that's tragic. Anyway, so then from there, they have the Apollo night. And the Apollo night was cute. It was fun. Um, we have, um, so Preston is a judge. I think everyone else, though, were contestants. So the first contestants were the Meows. And the meows consist of Summer, Shanice, and Noelle as a group. And they basically are just meowing. Um, the second person, I think then the next person who, came, who was up was Jordan and Nick. They swapped. So Jordan was dressed like Nick and Nick was dressed like Jordan. And what was very impressive is that Nick was literally wearing Jordan's clothes. And fit just fine. And had one of her wigs. So it worked. And <laughs> so, um, and I love Preston because Preston was being just a shady judge the whole entire time and then even had the cane, but he didn't really use it. So everyone got to do their stuff. Um, Jasmine wrapped. It was, it was a cute little wrappy wrap. Um, Alex sang. It was, it was, it was mid, <laughs> which is weird because he's supposed to be like a singer. Um, but it was definitely, I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> and then Bria and Milo were like kind of like circus stuff. Like they were doing like um, acrobat type stuff because we found out a couple episodes ago, Bria used to be a gymnast. So she's doing like acrobat stuff with the dog. And she abruptly stops because she kind of threw up in her mouth a little bit. So that ended that. And then, um... Oh, and then last but not least, Amir did um, a poem that was clearly Chad um, EPT. She, he did not write that poem. It was Chad EPT. And so Preston <laughs> made Amir the winner, even though everyone knew that was a Chad BT poem. And that was how the episode ended. It was such a cute episode. I love that this time around, the conflict wasn't as crazy. Things got resolved. It was a lot more of a fun-loving episode. Again, hopefully you guys are still supporting this show because the show is freaking amazing. Um, so side note, I am going to, even though I'm doing this as a double recap, I am going to have... Um, the, one of the recaps, the older one coming out Monday, and then the newer one, this newer one coming out on Tuesday, the latest. Um, I am going to try to hopefully post it before that. But anyway, that does conclude the video. 
Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.